Hi guys and welcome to another video lesson. Today we're going to be studying one of the greats, the one and only Steve Gadd. I think it's fair to say that Steve Gadd has achieved drumming royalty status. I don't know of any drummers that would disagree with that comment. He's just got everything. Deafness of touch, speed around the drum kit, control, groove, feel, pocket, coordination, independence, you name it, he's got it. He is one of the all-time greats. I haven't got time to go into everybody that Steve Gadd's played with, but definitely Google search him, YouTube him. He's played with a huge variety of artists and performers. I like the stuff he's done with the band Stuff. I think that's his own band. He's also played with Eric Clapton, Paul Simon, Steely Dan, just to name some of the biggies. I've heard this referred to as the Steve Gadd lick, the flutter lick, the Steve Gadd flutter lick, the Steve Gadd fill, and so on. It doesn't really matter what you call this. We're trying to emulate Steve Gadd, and we are trying to sound like him. This is a very Gadd-like fill. It's got a whole bunch of stuff going on. It's got some linear stuff. It's got some ghost notes. It's got compound sticking patterns. It's got a whole mess of stuff all thrown in together. It's technically a groove variation, I suppose you would call it, but you could be forgiven for calling it a fill as there's an awful lot going on and it's very complex. Right, so let's get into it. Let's look at the main idea. It's comprised of 16th notes for the most part and it's three beats long. The pattern is foot, left, left, right, right, left, left, foot, right. It's an awful lot of lefts and rights and feet. Lefties swap that round. And the way we're going to play this, we're going to be in groove position as I call it. So we're going to play the foot, left left on the snare, right right on the hi-hat, left left on the snare, foot again, and then right hand's going to come down on the snare. We're going to play this at 70 beats per minute round and round. Now this is a tricky lick, so if you need to pause the video here and work on this at slower tempos, that's absolutely fine. Here it comes at 70 beats per minute. So now we're going to add the ghost notes into the pattern. These are all going to land on the left hand doubles that we're playing on the snare. Now it can be really tricky to ghost one limb and keep the other ones at the same volume. Rather than thinking of volume and how hard you're hitting something, try and think of this in terms of stick height. When I'm trying to play ghost notes on the snare drum, I'm thinking about keeping my left hand down or close to the snare drum head. I'm not thinking about volume or force or how hard I'm hitting something. When I do that, I tend to do it with all of my limbs. When I think about force, I tend to play everything at the same force, at the same volume. If I think about heights, it's much easier to separate the limbs out. So think about keeping the left hand down and the right hand up for this. It's exactly the same pattern as before, but with those softer ghost notes. Here we go. Okay, so now we're going to finish the bar off. We're going to add some more 16th notes. Starting on beat three, we've come down with our right hand onto the snare drum. We've then got double left, two ghosted lefts. Then we've got double right on the hi-hat, double left again, both ghosted, ending with the foot. I'll play just this last half of the bar for you. Well, I'll rest beats one and two and just play the second half round and round at 70 beats per minute. Here we go.
Right, so let's put all of that together to complete the lick. So quick reminder, we've got foot, left, left, right, right, left, left, foot, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, foot. That's an awful lot of foots, rights and lefts. So let's put it all together at 70 beats per minute and see what we're dealing with. Okay, so there you have it, the Steve Gadd Flutter Lick, or Steve Gadd Fill, or the Flutter Fill, or whatever you want to call it, there it is. Now we've been going at 70 beats per minute. The idea here is that you gradually increase the tempo as you get more comfortable with the pattern. Start in fives, I would, so 70, 75, 80, and see how far you can push this. So we've been playing this idea in 16th notes, a one bar fill, and that's fine. What I'm gonna do now is change the note value. I'm gonna go for 30 second notes. I'm not gonna play a whole bar's worth or even half a bar's worth of 30 second notes. I'm just gonna take a little portion, if you like, a little snippet of this fill and make my own groove variation out of it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the foot, left, left, right, right, left, left, foot, part of the lick, and then come down with my right hand and hit the snare drum like we've been doing already. Now, that only gives me one and a half beats worth of stuff, of groove or fill, whatever you want to call it. So I need one half more. So I'm going to play an open hi-hat with my left hand. So I'm going to go open-handed to finish this off. The first half of the bar is just a standard quaver groove. You can do whatever you like there. I've kept it pretty simple because the second half of the bar is complicated enough. That's an awful lot of talking. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is my take on the idea. You can have a go at finding your own ways of developing this as well. So there you go, a little insight into the legend that is Steve Gadd. As I've said, go and check this guy out. You will not regret it. I showed you at the end there one of my ideas, one of my takes on this. Experiment, have some fun with this, see what you can do. You're paying tribute to the great man, but also you can be inspired and develop this and turn this into one of your own licks and call it whatever you like. That's it for today's lesson, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've got any questions, please feel free to get in touch. If you're watching this on YouTube, leave a comment down below. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Take care, stay safe, and enjoy your drumming, guys.